This right here is a 250mm gun and its rounds behind it. Today, we're going to design a tank in the new Sprocket update to accommodate both of these things. I do feel like it's going to be a little bit difficult to do, but at the same time, it's going to be kind of interesting. So, let's get straight to it and hopefully come up with something nice. Okay, so this tank is actually going to be relatively short. I just want to go ahead and make the tracks a lot shorter than they currently are, so we're going to go to around here. And the tank is going to have to fit within that area, which is kind of strange, but I do think it'll look kind of cool. Alright, so this is where I've currently got it. What I'm going to do from here is make the tracks a little bit thinner, because I don't think they should be as thick as they currently are. So let's bring them down to like 350 mil. There we go. We're then going to fit everything else to that as well, and then we'll start working on the body, where we will be putting the cannon in there somewhere. Okay, so from this point, I figured I might as well actually go ahead and start shaping this thing. I know I've shaped a million tanks before in the past, so I might as well do it in time lapse now. So, essentially, I wanted a bit of a pokey front end on this thing, and honestly, I didn't realize to begin with whether I was going to have the cannon at the front, or the cannon in the back, if that makes any sense whatsoever. So it depended on where I split it, and where I actually ended up extruding to make it taller. It also depends on where we're going to put the engine as well, but we're going to go ahead and figure that out in a bit. Anyway, you guys can see me right here changing the size of the engine. I also actually moved the steering wheel to the inside as well, and I think I am going to go ahead and try and put some nice bits on top of where the steering wheel is for the driver to actually sit in there. This bit right here was a little bit annoying. Obviously, this is the transmission on both sides. I'm trying to fit it in there so that it doesn't look so weird and so that it actually does fit. It took some time to do this, but it did end up actually working. Now that I think about it though, I'm probably going to move the engine further forwards, so that might have to change. Anyway, this is the point right here where I decide to actually add the extrusion to the back, and this is where the cannon is going to go. And I do think it's going to be on a turret, so let's get straight to that. Alright, so the way I see it, we're going to actually be adding a turret directly onto the top of this. Clearly, we do need the actual um, thingamabobby to work, so we're going to have to put a hole in this top piece. So let's go to faces, add a hole to it. <laughs> there we go. And then I want to move this forwards if possible. So let's go ahead and just drag this forwards to there. Hopefully that looks alright. I don't really know how to smooth all these bits out, but uh, it is it is alpha, so that's fine. Uh, and I think we are going to have to actually move the engine forwards as well, because at the minute, I don't really want it there. I don't think so, anyway. Okay, so we're on the internals. Let's go ahead and try and drag this guy forwards, and I'm going to go ahead and try and move it to around... Well, actually, somewhere around here. I can move the engine upwards slightly, but that is still somewhat in the way, isn't it? It is. Maybe I can put it right there. That actually seems fine, and it does look like it's going to fit, which is interesting. I'm also going to split this, I'm going to move this forwards, and I'm going to try and drop it down. Oh, if it would fit underneath there, that would be awesome, but unfortunately, that is not the case. Oh, that sucks. Maybe if I do this. Oh, there we go. That does actually work. So there's our prop shaft all the way to the back. These are our transmissions right here, which I wouldn't mind actually moving backwards to the very back, I suppose, just to give us a little bit more room. Uh, and if I grab both of these, I could do this. And that totally works. So our engine's going to be in the front, our cannon is going to be mounted up there, and our driver is going to sit in the very front right there. That looks okay. Okay, so the plan from here was actually to add a turret to the top, as you guys can see right here. And I spent some time trying to figure out how to make the basket space even smaller. And the way you do that is you click on the ring at the top, and you can make it smaller from there. Then I thought the turret looked pretty cool, but I didn't know whether it was in the right place. And honestly, it took some time to like move it around to see if it was in the right place. And I do think we've got it pretty good from now on. Anyway, I then went in and I was like, maybe this is too big. Because sometimes turrets look way too big, um, but sometimes that's just me. So I was like, nah, that actually looks tiny. So let's make it huge. Um, and that's what we ended up doing. I was then trying to make this front thing into some sort of like hole so that we can actually put a cannon through it. However, that caused some serious issues. There's no way I was actually going to be able to do that. Um, not with the way that it was being built anyway. So I ended up actually getting rid of this hole and coming up with a different plan. I actually ended up adding a hole for the turret on the left-hand side and a like gunner's sight in the top right. 
which in the end I do think works. Um, but I'm not sure. We'll have to see what happens when I actually start adding the gun. So here you are. You can see me deleting loads of little bits. I'm on to the last little bit right now. There's the gunner's site. And then what I wanted to do from there was actually add a bit of a, um, I don't know, like a bit of a rim across the top of it. Because I thought that would look really, really good. And yes, I do think sealing this off does make sense. So all we got to do now is actually add a cannon to this and a gunner's sight. Let's do it. Okie dokie, so this is going to be a little bit challenging, at least I think so anyway, I'm not used to this whatsoever. So all I'm going to do is actually add a cannon that pokes straight through here, and that's probably going to be it, if that makes sense. So let's go to firepower, get ourselves a mantlet, and we are going to be shoving a mantlet straight onto there, just like this. If I can select the mantlet, that would be great, there we go. So we're going to move this thing backwards, and we're going to shove it up to... Essentially the center height. I feel like that makes sense. We'll then drag it backwards and I do think it should be probably a little bit smaller. So let's do this and this and there we go. From there we're going to add a cannon into it. So let's go to cannons. Grab ourselves an actual cannon. Shove it into there like that. And we are going to be making this a lot smaller. So instead of it being 105, it is actually only... Oh no, wait, sorry. It's going to be 250, isn't it? Completely forgot what we were building there. Holy moly, that is huge! Alright, I didn't actually expect it to be this big. But that looks really cool. That looks really, really cool. So if I can, let's go ahead and move this up a little bit. There we go. Obviously, I do need it to fit in there. So we might have to make the turret even wider in order to literally just accommodate the gun. So move this out to the side. There we go. That may or may not be good enough. Holy moly. All right, good. So let's go to firepower really quickly. Go to this guy. And all we actually need to do is go to the traverse. I can't find it though. There it is. All right, so move this over to the side. There we go. This is going to be for the gunner to actually aim. So let's go ahead and shove this. I don't actually know where it should go. Probably on the side of the gun. There we go. Uh, and all we need to do is make sure that there is limitations to this. So, I can't have the gun aiming too far up or too far down. Depression, if I change this... Oh, actually, that can go quite far, but this one can't. There we go. So, let's say it can aim up and down by, like, 15 degrees and 15 degrees. There we go. Now it should actually work. Yes. If this tank reminds you of anything, let me know in the comments down below. Anyway, what I'm going to do from here is extend the barrel to be 500 millimeters right there. Uh, and this is going to be quite thick, so let's go with like 35 mil right there, and 35 mil right here. On the front piece, we're going to make this one meter long. 1,000 millimeters! There we go. And this is going to be like 5 mil, I guess, and 5 mil. Oh, it can only be 10. So there we go. That's kind of what I want the uh, cannon to actually look like. That looks awesome. Okay, so from there, what are we going to do? Well, obviously, I need a gunner's sight. I am actually going to just add that to the side right up here, which is fine. I am going to poke it out a little bit more, and that's how it's going to look. Obviously, on the inside, that looks kind of ugly, but on the outside, it looks fine. So that's all that really matters. <laughs> so, we're going with that. Uh, what we need to do now is try and, like, attach all these together. So the site for this gun is going to be named Sight. That's good. I can't seemingly grab this thing, the drive. Which is annoying, because I really need to move it. I can't grab it. I can't grab this thing at all. Come on! No? I don't think it's going to let me. Oh, this is annoying. This is very annoying. Uh, in order to do that, then, I'm going to have to move this out of the way. And then I can move that off to the side, and then I can put this back down in. Hey, there we go. Alright, cool. So, I'm happy with this, so far. I might actually move this slightly higher. There we go. And I want to add a guy just to see what this looks like aiming up and down. Oh, and side note, I'm actually going to go ahead and turn this thing around as well. There we go. And I'm going to shove it into this side over here. If I can make it any skinnier, which I don't think I can, I would. <laughs> but that's not actually a thing I can do, unfortunately. So I don't know if I can even fit a person into this. I really don't know. We're just going to have to try. So crew, let's grab a guy. Here we go. Oh my... <laughs> is there any way I can actually fit this guy in here? I don't think so. I really don't think so. So, 
Uh, turret Traverse, I guess, is done by the gunner, yes. Uh, we're also going to do the operator and the laying drive all by one guy. He should be able to do it all. We then need to somehow fit him into here. <laughs> How in the world am I supposed to do that? All right, okay. Let's just figure this out. So arm in. Yep, arm in. Sure. Uh, arm down. Yep, and arm down. Excellent. We might have to turn him around so he sits sideways in this thing and sit him down into there. So down. Y yeah, kind of. Sure. Well, then move him this way. All right. I move him upwards slightly and backwards. I'm going to have to remove this traversing thing. But in order to shoot the gun, he's going to have to like look sideways, which I think is fine. So let's go ahead and move that that way. Bring it forwards. Right. Uh, he's in the way of like the actual thing though, isn't he? So can I move that arm out of there? His left arm is just in the way. Holy moly. This is hard. I don't think I'm going to be able to fit him in there. Not really, anyway. Seat height, maybe if I do this and then move him down. Oh, yeah, his legs are out of the way. I just need to move his arms out of the way. Oh, one arm is successfully out of the way. We need to chop his other arm off, though, because, um... Yeah, I need it to go down. <laughs> I need it to go really far down, because I won't be able to spawn this in with him being there. He's obstructing it. Okay, right, I've got an idea. I do actually have an idea. So if we twist him around like this, there we go. Obviously, he's now in the way of everything. But if I move him backwards to here, oh, I need to twist him a tiny bit more, I think. There, like that. Okay, right. We can then move him backwards. He's getting in the way of literally everything. His one arm is in the way now. Again. Oh, this sucks. This really sucks, because I would love for this to work. Maybe move him... No, move him this way. Oh. One arm is in the way. That's it. <laughs> Come on. Oh, maybe it's not. No, it definitely is. This one arm is in the way. Right arm in. There's nowhere I can actually put it for it to, to fit. Oh, no. Obviously, if we had a normal-sized gun, then this would be fine, but we don't. We actually just don't have a normal-sized gun. Um, right. How do I go about doing this? Can I, like, see, sit angle? Oh, oh. I could probably angle him backwards, but not by very much. But then maybe if we put his right arm... Nah. Nah, there's no way we can have this guy sitting here. I don't know what to do. Okay, so what about like this? <laughs> We just, he's just sitting there. Uh, right, hang on. Is he even turning with the turret? No, we need him to be part of the turret, not anything else. Oh, please say we can do this. I, I don't know if we can, but uh, sure. Right, so he's in the way of everything there. If we twist him around again, I think twisting him is probably the best course of action here. And then moving him this way and moving him this way to make him fit. There we go. If he fits in there, that is, that is fine. Okay, that's what we're going with. He is just going to be like the weirdest looking fella back there, but I'm sure it's fine. But yes, he can actually move the turret all the way to the left, and he should be able to move the turret all the way to the right as well. It's very slow, but that's okay. He can also aim the cannon up and down, which is exactly what you need from a gunner. Okay, so I'm going to have another human actually crouch down there. Obviously, I want him to look more comfortable than the other guy because, you know, I want them to actually look like they fit in there. Unfortunately, all I really wanted from this guy was to be able to move his arm slightly more to the side. And unfortunately, in the game, that's not really allowed. So, what I'm going to do with this guy is have his feet come out and his sit angle come back and his sit height go up. What if he was standing in here, actually? What if he was standing in there? He's not going to fit. He won't fit standing up. So let's go ahead and move him this way. If I can twist him around, that would be sick. But I don't think I'm going to be able to do this. There's no way he's going to fit in the way I need him to. But we're going to try it anyway. So move him backwards. He's currently interacting with the other guy. We're going to move him this way. Move him backwards even further. His head is out of the area. 
But everything else... Oh no, it's just his body that's in. Oh no, can I angle him backwards? <gasps> oh, oh yes! Look at that! There's our loader right there. He's going to be loading the rounds in. And then from there, all we need is a driver. Unfortunately for the driver, I think he's going to have to be laying down. Uh, I've made this tank way too small for people, I think. But uh, I wasn't expecting it to, to, I don't know, be this cramped, weirdly. Uh, so sit angle, he's just going to be like level, yep. Sit height, we're going to have him do this, like a little squat in there. And we're going to have to shove him back... <laughs> <laughs> Shove him back inside. There we go. Yep. And maybe angle him. Uh, upwards. Oh my goodness. Uh, right arm up, right arm down. Up. There we go. Yes. Okay, now it's only his head that's in the way. Oh, and his legs. Oh yeah, that's not going to work out, I don't think. Oh, but we can, we can do this. And we can do this. Alright, so what if... Uh, feet forward was a thing. There, yes. We need him to go, like, over the top of this, which is the axle, and suspension. And then we need to drop him down and in. I need them legs to come further forwards. But then it gets rid of the angle of the... Oh, God. Okay, sit angle back. Yes. Angle him sl... Oh, maybe not that much. Get rid of this. There we go. Angle him slightly backwards. And then I'm going to have to push him forwards. And probably down. Oh, I can't move him any further down. Yikes. <laughs> right, I'm going to bring this backwards to here. And that's going to be his steering wheel. Let's move his arms out to the side so he's actually grabbing the steering wheel. Not that that's m of much importance right now. There we go. Drag him to the side. Arms out. Yeah, there we go. This guy knows how to drive a tank. And then we need his head to actually fit in. How in the world? How do I do that? I think I'm gonna have to just build onto the tank in order to actually make this work. Which is ridiculous. <laughs> Look at him! I have a really dumb idea. Like, it's... it's <laughs> yeah, no, this is really stupid, but I like it. So, let's go ahead and do this. Yes, okay, do this. Yes, I'm gonna have to angle it as well, obviously. So let's go ahead and do that. There we go. I'm then going to drag it backwards to wherever this guy's head is. And move it upwards from there. And then I'm going to fill it. So we'll grab this one to this one to this one. Fill. This one to this one to this one. Fill. This one to this one to this one. Fill. And this one to this one to this one. Fill. From there we do this one to this one to this one to this one. Fill. And that's it. There we go. Guy is in there now. That looks the worst. That actually looks awful. Yeah, there's no way I'm going to keep that. Like, there's there's literally no way I'm keeping it. So if I can get rid of all of that, that would be fantastic. Uh, but I don't think... don't think it's getting rid of it, which is not very good. Oh, there we go. The, I think that's the whole panel. Almost. Yeah, I need to delete this guy and this guy. There we go. And now I need to build it in better. So, extrude this. So if I extrude it, we have to build it properly. This is kind of difficult to do this way. But, there we go. So we've extruded it to the side, so we've now got space for him to be there. We're then going to split this in half, and we're going to go to faces. No, edges. This guy. Extrude it again? Question mark? I don't know. Like, I think I can bring this across like that. There we go. And there's our dude's head. And now all we have to do is build a box around him. So if I grab this one, this one, this one, and this one. Extrude it up. Aha! Yes! And then all we need to do is drag this one into there. Go to points. Grab this guy, this guy, and this guy. Oh, no. I can't seem to grab that one. Why can't I go to that point? There we go, there's one, two, three, fill, question mark, yes, and then this one, two, oh, I can't grab these pieces, this guy, nope, this one, and this one, yes, and the one in the center, fill, oh, look at that, we now got a driver's box, that's sick, alright, in fact, let's go ahead and move this out slightly, 
Oh no. Right, we're leaving it. <laughs> we're leaving it as is. Um, there's some serious issues with this. For example, there is a hole in the hole. Like, literally right here. I need to move that upwards. And maybe down. I don't know. Yeah, this is awkward. Maybe if I do this. So we grab this, we do this, and we merge it. We grab this, we do this, we merge it. There we go. Now I think we're good. It's very weird looking, but I think we're good. So, what I'm going to do from here is actually add a bunch of detail to this, and then add the ammunition, and then we'll try and drive it around. Alright, so this is the current situation. I've added lights, I've added a driver's view, I've also added a bunch of things down here as well. We've added some uh, sleeping bags or sleeping rolls to the sides. Obviously, we still have the guys on the insides, and we've got a little bit of detail on the back. I haven't done too, too much because I was experiencing some issues, but uh, overall, I actually really like this. You can see the gunner through the hole where the gunner's supposed to be, and uh, the gunner sight is right there. We've then obviously got our loader right here. The only thing I would say is if I go to faces and I try and actually like select all of these, obviously, when it comes to actually adding some armor to this, I feel like we might have some more issues, but let's go ahead and try. So, grab each and every bit of this, there we go, all the way around, including the side pieces, I think. There we go, we're gonna do all of this as well. Um, yeah, I feel like we're gonna have some issues. So, if we go to thickness, you see it's actually interacting with things. But if we go to 50 mil, I actually think 50 mil is probably fine. There we go. Alright, so, what was that? Something's obstructed. What is? What's obstructed? I can't even see. I wish I could click on this and figure out what that was. What What is a... Trunian? Trunian? Alright, I jumped it back down to 15, but actually I want to go with 20. There we go. So 20 mil of armor. That is not very much armor whatsoever. Uh, what I want to do now is actually add the ammunition into this. Obviously the ammo is actually ginormous. <laughs> it is so big! Uh, but I do need to fit it in, so if I can, I want to shove this on the back end, uh, around here-ish, I guess. Try and lift this up and put it in a nice little position, I suppose. Is that even going to work? Why? What's blocking that? I don't know what's actually blocking this. It doesn't look like anything's blocking it to me, but something must be blocking it. I just don't know what it is. Alright, well anyway, what we're gonna do is actually try and put it on the inside. So, this guy is gonna have a hell of a job. Because <laughs> he's gonna have to lift this up into the cannon somehow. Don't ask me how he's gonna do it, because I don't know. But, um... Yeah, it's up to him. It's up to him to figure it out. And if he doesn't figure it out, he's fired. He's gonna get fired. Alright, here we go. We got four rounds. Shove them in there. <laughs> Alright, there we go. And then I might actually try and add these, but like this. You see? So if I do that, maybe, just maybe, we can actually add them to the back end like this. Seems a little bit ridiculous. Also, I don't know why that is not actually allowing me to place that. I feel like it's not getting in the way of anything. Oh, you know what it is getting in the way of? Alright, that looks really dumb, but I like it. Uh, it's probably getting in the way of the actual breach. In order to put the rounds in. That's fine. So yes, we now have six rounds in this boost. Uh, I'm going to click on the rounds, and... Oh, I can't actually change them to be APHE or not. Interesting. But there you go. That is our tank destroyer, I guess? Sure. Uh, I am going to give it some paint as well, because I think that would be really cool. Let's go ahead and have a little look at that. Um, I don't know what color paint it should have. Honestly, I'm thinking like a winter paint would actually make sense. Oh, a desert paint looks pretty cool though. Metallic, yes. Saturation, oh yeah. Oh yeah, we're going with that. And it is gonna be Swedish, I think. Yeah, we're gonna go with Swedish. So put a little Swedish flag right here, Bosch. And now you guys might get a very good idea of what this thing was based off. <laughs> I'm going to put a Swedish flag down there, and a little Swedish flag right here as well. So there we go, it's Swedish all over. Brilliant. 
All right, cool. Let's go and have a little drive with this thing. It's a very small engine, actually. But it does seem to be working quite nicely. And it's totally working. I do think it's still bigger than I thought it was going to be. However, I guess the actual cannon is pretty large too, so that makes sense. Anyway, let's go and fire the cannon in three, two, one. Okay. Did that explode instantly? I'm not sure. Let's go ahead and fire it again in seven seconds. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. It looks like it literally just falls out of the tank. Interesting. Right, let's go ahead and make this 750. And then this one is going to be, like, even bigger. Can I go 1,500? I can't actually make it any bigger than that. Okay. Another one. That's fine. There we go. Let's go ahead and fire the cannon now. Three, two, one. I literally launched that at the floor. And that's because of the torque on this thing. I hate when I accidentally click something random. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to have to fix this. Ratio? The problem is, it's a very big cannon, right? And because it's so heavy, there's not actually very much I can do to sort that out. Yeah, this only needs to be 500. There we go. Maybe that'll help. Let's have a little look. Uh, traverse? Yeah, so now it will actually work. There, let's go with that. Here we go. Aim it up. We're going to try and aim at the ramps. If we can shoot the ramps, I'm going to call that a success. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, four! Oh, yeah, no, we can fire way further than the ramps now. Yes. All right, cool. We're done. We are actually done with this thing. So, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. Let me know what you think it was based off. And also, let me know what you guys think of this guy's seating position. Uh, his knees have imploded. But, um, I'm sure he's fine. <laughs> I'm sure he's fine. Yeah. To be fair, this guy's actually stood up and actually got quite a bit of room. And then the guy in the driver's seat, honestly, I would not want... I would not want his job. Not at all. Uh, this is his viewing port, obviously. If that was actually see-through, that'd be great, but unfortunately we got some issues there. But that's fine. Yeah. Anyway, I'm still getting used to the building. I think we're doing a pretty good job, though. So, there you go. Anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye. How in the world did I forget, like, all of the exhausts and the engine coolant and stuff like that? I literally forgot all of it. So, we're going to go ahead and actually just reattach these guys now. You know, shove those onto there like that. There's our exhausts done. Uh, vents, I'm actually going to put them on the front uh, around here. If I could put them on both sides, I would. So we are. There we go. All right, and I'm going to shove those on there like this. And that is our engine cooling sorted out. There we go. Wouldn't I actually mind adding one of these as well. But obviously, I do have to try and put it in the center, which is becoming a bit of an issue. Yeah, I don't know what's going on there. Um, so I'm going to shove that there, and then I'm going to push it up into position. And then I will lower it down slightly. There we go. So we got all of our engine stuff now added. The other thing was, I need a fuel tank in here. Um, fortunately, I do think we've got some room for a fuel tank at the back. But this is going to have to be quite small, I think. Oh, no, we got loads of room. So let's go ahead and bring this in, just like this. And then all we got to do is bring this up. And there we go. We got a huge fuel tank. That is awesome. All right, cool. 330 liters of fuel. Exactly what we needed. Good. I'm actually really happy with this now. I think it looks even better.